Short wave one. Broadcasting from the United States of America. This is WRMI in Pennsylvania, Florida, USA. You can find out more about WRMI at our website, WRMI.net. I'm in the middle of Virginia, USA. Billion people, and most of them, even from children, find it. You are listening to our one-hour broadcast in English for listeners in Western Europe and Japan. We can also be heard on the internet at www.ri.pro channel 1. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and others. Enjoying the sunshine and the exercise. I think it's really, really fun. Why? Um, because you can go fast on it. You can make snowmans and see up in the snow and some vlogging. And soaking in some vitamin D. <laughs> Kids are having a great fun. You can ask for anything better. Hey, March. <laughs> Now, even though the city has declared a major snowstorm condition, uh, it says it will be giving residents until Monday to move their cars. Now, the condition is meant to last three days, but the city does expect that it will be extended. Now, again, if you do not move your car from the designated snow route, you could be towed or face a fine of up to $200. Reporting live from Janice Golding, now back to Pauline. Thanks, Janice. The winter weather has also affected operations at Pearson Airport. This storm, the snow came down so hard and so fast in a very short period of time 
that it was really difficult for our, our snow clearing to keep up with, and that's what we're dealing with now today is uh, the, really a recovery. Nearly a quarter of all flights at Pearson were cancelled ahead of the storm yesterday. The airport says conditions have improved amid the warmer weather throughout the day. However, passengers are still being urged to check their flight status ahead of time. Well, let's bring in Jessica Smith for a look at the weather. You know, Jessica, everyone's talking about the thunder and the lightning that we saw, and we're going to talk about that later on in the show. But how are things right now? Right now, they're beautiful. We've had a really nice day. Despite the, the storm that we saw yesterday that brought thunder, lightning, snow, winds, today has been beautiful. We saw a daytime high well above the seasonal mark and comfortable for all those people getting outside and getting active. The good news, the rest of the night remains relatively clear, and we're looking at a beautiful kind of end to the weekend as well. Right around the Golden Horseshoe, we're sitting between 2 and about 5 degrees. We're dealing with a really light winter and overall comfortable for getting out going skating tonight, going for a walk, and even you want to do a walk the dog, it's going to have forecast to do so. We're looking at about 5 degrees right now through the island. We're looking at 25 or so, closer to 6 in some areas towards Pearson. Tonight dropping down to zero. It'll feel a little closer to minus 3. That's where we should be this time of year. But the good news is we are going to get even warmer as we head into the day tomorrow. And coming up, we have an explanation of the thunder snowing. Everybody saw it right across southern Ontario Yesterday, it was the talk of the town when it comes to everyone's social media feeds. We'll have a breakdown of what exactly Thunder Snow is coming up a little later on the show. Please. Thanks, Jessica. The OPP are investigating a fatal collision on Highway 4. Well, this doesn't look as big, but that's because it's over a wider area. But once you get into it, you start looking around, you realize, oh, <laughs> this is just as big as it ever was, maybe bigger. Criminalized. Yes. <laughs> so let's say it before it gets criminalized. Yes. All right, so here's a little summary of what happened at the World Economic Forum. This is an alternative news media. And uh, Martin, the lady responsible for this, wasn't she persecuted thereafter? Yes, when she went home back to the U.S., um, her name was already flagged just because she attended. And she had a nightmare in customs and getting through the airport and being searched and everything. She actually made a video or two about that as well. All right, let's hear what a uh, summary of the issues and then we'll look at them. Morgan here in Davos, Switzerland, and here's your day four recap of how they're implementing the Great Reset Agenda all across the globe. Now, first with climate change, this is a billion dollar industry that we are talking about. And with this, we asked them, how are they going to implement that carbon tax on civilians? <laughs>
and uh, I don't know. My wife passed away last August, and I was off the air for months, and I don't know. I'm just not right. There you go, this is an unbranded radio that was shortwave one and I thought it was really good. I know the FM is excellent. Very good selectivity. There's a channel dead beside another channel, but once you tune in and you don't really have to fine tune, once you're on one, you're clearly on one. Great sound through the speakers, through the earphones. It's a great balance sound, not too highs, not too lows. As you see here, there is a flashlight. Let me see if I can hit that. There you have a flashlight. This operates on a dry cell rechargeable battery. Also three double A's. Switch this button from the regular dry cells or the rechargeable. And this is a solar panel. You can also charge it with a solar. This light right here, you flip this up and you have a reading light out of it. I'm really impressed with this. Here's your uh, crank charger. It has a, uh, a USB charging port. The earphone uh, plug is on top. And a power charger button. I mean, a power charge from the micro USB. You can charge it that way as well. So solar, micro, micro USB, and uh, I forgot what to call it, but this right here. Um, this is really an excellent radio, emergency radio, and I would, thought this was really neat. It has a thermometer, so you can look at the thermometer and tell whether you're freezing or melting. Great. I'm really impressed with this.